Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about another kind of security issue that is database insecure storage. So this issue is actually an advanced part of the previous issue where we saw that our application was storing user sensitive data in shared preference but here we will see that our application might store our data in databases. Now let's have a look at the issue in Diva. So you can see here that the name of this issue is insecure data storage part 2 in Diva and this issue looks like the same as a previous one where we have to enter our username and password and we have to click on save and we have to find out that where this application stores our data and either our data is being stored as a cipher text or as a plain text. Now let's see how this issue works in Diva. Now let's have a look at another variation of insecure data storage in Deva. So you can see here that my Jenny motion is up and running and here is our application Deva. So if I open this application, you can see here is our challenge that is insecure data storage part 2. So in the previous video we have seen that insecure data storage part 1 where our application ends up storing our data in a plain text format. But now here in this challenge our objective is same that we have to find out that where our application stores our data and whether it stores the data in a plain text or as a cipher text and we also have to find out the vulnerable code. So if you look at this challenge it looks similar to the previous one it's asking us for the username and the password so if I just enter here demo and let me gonna write here password secret as a password and if I click on save you can see here that it has displayed third party credentials are being saved. Now we will see that where this application or this challenge is actually storing our data. So here you can see that my Santuku VM operating system is up and running. So we will use the same technique in order to view the source code. So let me gonna go here to my desktop and here is the jar file. Now we will analyze this jar file with the help of JDG, which we were doing from the last two videos. And here you can see the Java decompiler. So let me gonna expand this. And here is the package name of our application that is jaka.seam.deva. So if I expand this up, here is activity that is insecure data storage to activity. And here you can see the entire source code. Now let's analyze this source code and understand that what actually happened at the back end. So you can see here at the first glance we can see one keyword that is SQLite database and here is one MDB which means it's initializing an object called as MDB as a SQLite database which means it gives us rough idea that this challenge is or this activity is actually storing our data in database. Now let's see what kind of database it's creating. So if we scroll a little bit here you can see a create database command and it's actually creating database named as IDS2 and right after it is actually creating a table and storing our data. Now we have to see whether it's storing our data in a plain text or a cipher text. So in order to check what we will do we first have to go inside the ADB shell. And you can see here that right now I'm inside the shell of Jenny motion and let's go inside data slash data and let's go inside the that package that is jaka.aseam.deva and if I do ls here you can see one directory called as databases so let me gonna go there and here is one database called as IDS2 so in order to open it database we just have to write down here SQLite 3 because SQLite 3 is one of the most used database in Android so once you write SQLite 3 here we will give the database name that is IDS2. Hit enter and you can see here that right now I am inside the SQLite shell. Now in order to find out the databases or tables what we have to do just write down here dot tables and it will list out all the tables. So right now there are two tables that is Android metadata and my user. So if we look at this table my user it gives us an idea that this might contains our username and password. So in order to find out that what actually present inside this table we'll write a very simple SQL query that is select star from and the table name that is my user and colon. So if I hit enter you can see here our username and a password that is demo and a password secret which means this application or this activity is again storing our data without encrypting it. 
which means it's another security issue that if any application is storing something sensitive information in the database and it's not recommended to store that kind of information in a plain text. So in this video we talked about insecure data issue and we also seen the another variation of insecure data storage. So thanks for watching this video.